Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be comparing my Dell Precision 7740 with a desktop. The desktop that I have in front of me is a desktop running an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1920X. You can see the specs of the CPU. The memory of the desktop is 32 gigs. You can see the bandwidth or the, the clock rate. And then I am also have on this uh, desktop a Radeon Pro WX5100 graphics card. The drive that I'm going to be reading and writing from are NVMe drives. They are the Samsung SSD 960 Pros. The basis for the test is going to be seeing how quick the software called Vegas Pro will be able to render a 4K video. This is the specifications of the 4K video. If you have a look, it has a data rate of 60, at least 62 megabits per second. It is a 4K video, and here it is. I've just made a short video because I don't want to wait too long while it does these rendering tests. I'm not testing stability. I'm only testing performance, the rate at which it can render video. So what I'll be doing is I'll say file re render as. I can render it via the AMD graphics card working in tandem with the CPU or just directly on the CPU. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tabulate the results. I'm going to do the rendering test via the desktop where I just use uh, render via the CPU only. Then I'm going to rent, tell the Vegas Pro software to render via the uh, graphics card, although it will still use the CPU. And then I'll compare it to the Dell Precision, the new Dell Precision, the 7740. That is running with an i9 9980HK CPU at 2.4 gigahertz. And then that particular Precision laptop has a Radeon Pro WX7130, but it also comes standard with an Intel UHD 630 graphics module. So what we're going to find is we're going to have a few results here, and I'm going to compare the different rendering tests for the laptop versus the desktop, and you can get an idea of the different performance between these two devices. Right, I'll just show you one of the renders, and then I will go through to the results. The specifications for the render is going to be the same for each one of the tests. So if I just show you the template which I've got here, it'll be rendered with a variable bit rate. There you can see it says maximum bits per second, 80,000. And there it says average, 40,000. So I've just left everything on default. I'm not going to change anything. It's going to render it at 59.94 frames per second. I'm going to set it for the AMD option, which means it's going to rely mostly on the graphics card. And then I will just set it directly via just the CPU. I am uh, familiar with the software. I know how to, to use it. I know you can make changes here and tell it how you want it to render GPU and so forth. I will play around with that. I will restart the software and I'll give you the results. I'm first going to uh, do it via the uh, CPU itself. So I'll say file, render as, and I will keep using the same file. I'm not going to change the file. You can see there's the file name. It says test 2019 precision. It's a very small file. So this should be rendered with, with, within a minute. Okay, so the first one, I'm not going to render via the graphics GPU. I'm going to render directly. And here we go. And you can see the CPU ramped up there. 87%, 90%, the GPU is still being used, keeping in mind that I still have some monitors that are at play here. I'm still recording this using the uh, OBS software for the screen record, and that does use a bit of the processing power, but this will be matched on the laptop, so it will be a fair test. Having a look there, you can see that it is now sitting at uh, 25, 26, Right, so that took 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And now I'll re-render it using the GPU. There we go, on the AMD VCE. Right, and we're off. And just having a look, you can see now the GPU brought into uh, into contention there. Look at that, 60, 80, 80, 79 percent. Look, it's still using the CPU. As I said, it's kind of a, a shared feature there, but the GPU is probably doing most of the work. And this is the AMD Radeon Pro WX5100 at work here. I have used 
these GPUs in tandem. I've connected two of the 5100s in an earlier test. Didn't make much difference because Magic Pro cannot uh, deal with the AMD running in tandem where you run them in parallel. So this is just a single WX5100 graphics card. If you want to see my other tests on the WX5100, you're welcome. Please check out my channel. Right, let's go back here. You can see quite a bit faster when it's rendering via the GPU. Right, so that was 1 minute and 14 seconds. All right, so here's the summary of the results. There you can see I've called it Desktop TR1920 because it's running the Threadripper 1920. It is a Gigabyte Designare motherboard. It's the X399. And these are the tests. I did three each. So if I'm just using the AMD Threadripper, these were my rendering times, 2 minutes 20, 2.14, 2.14. And if I set it to uh, Magix AVC, so that's geared for the AMD graphics card. And there you can see graphics card uh, doing most of the work. This is the WX5100. Look at that difference. 1 minute 14, 110, and 104. So if you're wondering why it gets faster, um, it's also because of the loading on the computer. For example, if, uh, if you've got other windows open, if you're doing any graphic intensive work while you're doing these rendering tests, well, then you're sharing the bandwidth with the Radian Pro's other uh, applications. So in this case, I was doing a rendering test, which is using most of the Radian Pro's capacity, but then maybe one or two windows opened, uh, maybe I... Uh, was looking at something on the internet while I was doing the test. So I admit um, there was the first one probably stuffing around a bit. But then I tried to get the computer and the least amount of resources used. So I would take the last two as accurate. 214, 214 versus 110, 104. So basically half the time. If you're going to render via the W. X5100 with a 4K video, you can see that uh, rendering via the GPU is much more efficient. Right, now let's check out the laptop and see how it uh, responded. Right, I'm now on the Dell laptop. You can see the CPU i9-9980HK. You can see there's the AMD WX7130 and this has a built-in UHD graphics 630. I'm going to do a rendering test with all of these. Something I'd like to bring to attention is the memory. This laptop has a faster clock rate than the uh, desktop, so there's a slight advantage there. And then in terms of the disk, this is the PC400 NVMe SK Hynix. Now, this is actually a disadvantage because the desktop was using the NVMe 960 Pro, which if you look at the specs via Samsung, it says sequential read speed, 3500 while sequential write speed 2100 if you look at the specs of the Hynix you'll see there's the PC401 um, although mine is a 400 so this is probably even better but nevertheless sequential read 2700 while sequential write 1390 going back to the Samsung you can see that the Samsung is a lot faster however I don't think that is going to make much difference because the real uh, bottleneck is going to be sitting here in the GPU uh, of the AMD or the Intel, or the CPU. But I just wanted to show you there are slight differences between the setup on the um, Dell versus the Threadripper, the AMD Ryzen. Okay, obviously, they're two different computers. Now, there's the same file. It is writing and reading from the NVMe drive. I'm going to say file. I'm going to say render as. The first one I'm going to do is just the Intel. I'm going to send the uh, workload to the Intel CPU. I'm going to just show you the template. I haven't changed anything. I'm just and straight away you can see uh, the CPU. Look at that. Boom. 100%. Uh, while look at the AMD GPU. 4%. Uh, it's, it's, it's out of action. All right, so there we go. That is two minutes and eight seconds. And lastly, AMD. And here we're going for the kill. Now you can see the CPU 100%, the AMD Radeon coming in 94, 95. Look at the uh, Intel UHD graphics coming down quite a bit here. Uh, but what we're watching here is the AMD really at work there. Look at that, the 7130. And let's look at the uh, the ranking here. All right, so that was 59 seconds. 
Right, if you look at the device manager, you can see there's two graphics card here. See, I've got AMD Radeon, the w, uh, WX1, and then I've got the Intel UHD. Now, what I want to do is I want to do the test now with one of them disabled because we want to compare without the interference of these graphic cards. So let's just see uh, Intel is now off. I'm only using the AMD Radeon running on the i9. Now I want to test the uh, rendering again. I'm going to first do the AMD and you can have a look at the utilization look at the amd graphics card 9194 cpu also 100 percent very highly loaded now there's no intel graphics here being used so any of the graphics work is being done by the gpu of the amd so even though i'm doing a screen record that's also utilizing some of the resources and i can already see that it's a bit slower Keeping in mind that the fastest I had before was a 53. And then if you notice, look at that delay with the graphics updating pretty slowly. Look at that. All right, so that's pretty close to the WX5100 running on the desktop, by the way. And let's try just the uh, CPU now. All right, so this is 100% CPU. Look at the AMD Radeon, 0%. Right, having a look at the results in the green this is the desktop results in the orange this is the laptop results the amd running by itself without the wx5100 without the graphics card running these are the times 220 214 214. now if you're wondering why i have three different formats here it's because on the Dell Precision 7740, you can use the Intel QSV format because there is an Intel uh, CPU and Intel graphics card. So you can use the uh, quick sync video. So that's what I did for the Dell Precision, right? And uh, I did still do the main concept and there you can see the results. And I'm going to explain this to you now as I go. Right, so just running the AMD Threadripper graphic card off, I got 2 minutes 20, 2.14, 2.14. Now I set the graphics card to be on and you see I got 1.14, 1.10, 1.04. Consider the 1.04 and the 1.10 as the accurate result and you can see that uh, letting the graphics card deal with the workload is significantly better than just letting the Threadripper deal with the graphics content right now on the laptop you can see this is the i9 working in tandem with the uhd 630 and the times i got is 104 1 and 106 so that means the i9 works with its built-in graphics engine and those are very good times 104 1 minute 106 but if i disable the uhd then i have to use the main concept uh format and you can see 208 and even 234 so there you there, those are quite comparable if you look at that the i9 versus the amd threadripper 1920 keeping in mind this is in a laptop and this is the desktop version all right but now we look at the uh radian pro this is just the graphics engine by itself and that is one minute and three seconds when i allow the uhd graphic graphics to still be on then I got some good times. There are 59, 53, 57. But that meant that the UHD graphics was on, which is a little bit unfair because then I'm running two graphics uh, engines on the laptop. And why the time is better is because Vegas Pro is just using the Radeon Pro graphics card for the rendering of the 4K video, while all other graphics work is being done by the UHD card. So the fact that you're actually watching the screen, recording the screen, that was palmed off to the UHD card. While when you switch off the UHD card, you can see that the Radeon Pro was a bit slower because it also had to handle the other tasks of the laptop. For example, rendering on the screen itself, what the end user sees, and then obviously the screen record. So there you can see the Dell Precision 7740 versus the desktop version of the Threadripper 1920 gigabyte uh, X399 Designair. Uh, you can see that they're quite comparable. And it's quite interesting to have a laptop with a much smaller form factor 
right up there with a full desktop so overall a good performance there with the dell precision i'll also do some further tests uh, performance tests also checking other applications launch speed uh zipping files and things like that but this is just a preliminary test just to give you an idea and uh, my only concern is you know, with the desktop, once you're rendering that 4K file, you can hear the fans and the uh, and the cooling system kicking in to, to cool down the CPU. But on the laptop, it's a little bit more difficult. So it can actually feel hot air coming out the side. But I'll only know uh, after using it, maybe rendering files that are taking over an hour. Then I'll report and see the stability of the precision. But overall, you can see a very good result there on that Dell Precision. Just going back to the new Dell, the 7740, um, here is a random test and you can see it's just the AMD GPU, but look at that time, it is rapid. This would be the fastest ever, but now you might be wondering why I didn't include it as part of the results because it happens so infrequently. Uh, most of the times I did the test, it gave the times that I've put in the table, whereas Every now and then it did a very fast render. Not sure why, I have to do further testing, but just to show you, I did get some very rapid tests, uh, but it was inconsistent. All right, so thanks for watching and cheers.